What's up guys, welcome back and thank you for tuning in. I am Frank, your host here at the Emerald Scale, official YouTube home of Emerald Scale Exotics. And once again, I am bringing you a quick update on Sunny, my male eastern box turtle. What he is doing basically is soaking and this is something he does daily. He gets about a gallon of water in there in his little soaking tub and he'll soak anywhere between 30 minutes to maybe a couple hours just depending on how long it takes him to defecate. Once he's defecated the water, he goes back into his enclosure and he's good to go. Today, what you see down there below besides uh, debris that's been washed off of him is some food particles and that is pretty much left over from his foraging. So what I do for them, um, well him, is he will get bits of food thrown in there whether it's pellets, whether it's uh, vegetables floating around or live foods they will be thrown in there every now and then not always um, but he will definitely be given some enrichment and that's pretty much what it's for these guys in the wild will traverse through forests and whatnot they will um, go pretty much everywhere and if you have kept turtles you know that they're like little bulldozers when they want to be they will go pretty much where they need to and want to um, with that being said they will forage through streams and all along the way eating whatever they can snap up including anything that might be in the water um, water bugs, night crawlers, snails in the water, um, fish if they can catch them and uh, yeah so foraging in the water is nothing that they wouldn't encounter in the wild thus I give it to him here so he can have a little bit of enrichment in his captive life and um, this bin here it's a sterilite bin it's approximately three feet by two feet and it's in six inches or so of eco earth this gets spot cleaned on the daily if there is anything to spot clean um, I'll also kind of till the soil around and then pack it down once again just to make sure that he gets uh, a little bit of burrowing enrichment so with that um, he doesn't really have he, he will definitely destroy this place he'll make different holes burrow himself into different areas and just throw all the dirt around to the point where it's kind of maybe piled up in one spot and there's no dirt over here so um, I'll just move all that around again and then he goes about burrowing because he likes to bury himself he's weird he'll push all the dirt back up and then he'll back into it and kind of make it all fall down on top of him and then he just like lays there and <laughs> goes to sleep um, among other things that he does but yeah that I, I think it's like a security thing as they would burrow under compost and whatnot in the wild so um, yeah and then he'll also go inside his little hidey hut here this is a turtle dome hidey hut by flukers um, basically with these they're made out of plastic and they are textured to feel like wood and they look like wood obviously but they're not um, and the great thing about those is that they're a little higher dome shape so that turtles obviously like sunny can go in there comfortably and not scrape up their shells and um, what I'll do also is I'll fill that up with some dirt with some eco earth and then he'll have to like bulldoze his way in there and kind of burrow and then as you can see here there's little markings from where he started to but since I took him out and redid everything um, it's all kind of in order right now so yeah once he goes back in there he will definitely start eventually but what I've noticed from this guy is that, and pretty much any captive animal, they don't stress in their captive environment so much if they have everything fulfilled that they want. And with most animals, they're pretty much driven by hunger, um, amongst cleanliness and other things. But, you know, um, if you keep them clean, if you keep them fed and all that, they're not really quick to stress. And he's got his light here. That's a, um, a ZooMed UV bulb. It's a, a Repti. Repti Glow, I believe, or Repti Sun. Yeah, Repti Sun, sorry. And um, so he's got that going 12 hours a day, and all my lights in here are on timers. That's also Repti Sun by Zoom In. And um, yeah, so this is his setup here. He um, is very calm and collected. And there goes Bubba over there, <laughs> playing in the bubbles. <laughs> he gets buffeted a little bit by the stream, but for the most part, this guy loves that. Um, he's got his little enclosure here and contrary to most beliefs he does incredibly well in deep water and fast flowing at that um, he's very very strong and I know he does look like a little clumsy swimmer but he, he gets around and as long as these guys have 
a pathway to get up out of the water and stuff to cling on and um, you know maybe a little security underwater because they do like to spend a lot of time underwater um, they're good to go and what he does is he sleeps a lot under there <laughs> um, so he becomes a one with the rock and uh, so yeah that's his enclosure that's Bubba he just finished eating this morning and he has lost weight but he's growing so uh, I was feeding him a little too much at one point because he was getting kind of tubby he was protruding from his shell but that has since gone and he's on a little bit better controlled feeding now so um, yeah this is he guys and he gets his water changes and all that all that good stuff so he will be getting or she if it turns out to be a she then that will be Babette <laughs> and then uh, um, pretty much we'll have a mate for that one and a mate for this guy um, as you guys are probably asking what happened to Paws, well, on a quick note, um, she has since passed away. It was confirmed that she was healthy. There was no MBD onsets or whatnot. So the loss of her rear legs was more than likely due to very old age. And being that her previous owner says, stated to me that they were in his care for approximately 15 years. Um, and prior to that, they were also captive. So I am guessing that she pretty much had a, 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 a very good go and if they were captive that long she was probably wild caught being that she was who knows how old and with that um, she has since passed away um, it's a very touchy subject so I won't go into it right now because I love turtles I love all kinds of animals I can't tell you which one's a favorite I have different feelings to each one but with turtles it's something that I really can't even describe and it still kind of pains me so with that um, I will leave it at that guys but just know that she did go out comfortably for the most part and uh, she had a great time while she was here at least so with that um, Sonny is still here and Sonny will carry on for however long it is that he will be with us but he's still full of incredible spunk and vigor so I don't imagine him going anywhere for a very long time and with that guys thank you for tuning in once again I am Frank your host here at the Emerald Scale rate comment and subscribe down below please it only takes a quick click of the button and then you can be on to whatever other exciting reptile videos you see and like I always say guys video respond if you have your own videos with common animals and whatnot I love to get the sharing going and it helps to you know see video responses down below I will approve them with them being reptile videos and all that and I, I love to show other people stuff and you know this is a community this is a hobby so let's keep the unity going let's keep the hobby alive and the community strong as you guys know I always say with that happy herping peoples thank you for tuning in bye bye